and welcome to another episode of the Own the Life of Your Dreams YouTube channel. My name is Tamisha and I'm so glad to have you here with me today. It's another beautiful day in Houston, Texas and I'm chilling out here in my backyard thinking about a wonderful day that I've had. I got to see my oldest boy play hockey for the first time. Yes, he plays hockey. <laughs> and he didn't his team didn't do too well in the tournament today but he has another game tonight so hopefully you know they'll you know set that game off and it'll be awesome and they'll actually win that game and then go to the tournament or the championship round tomorrow so he is pretty good and he is awesome and yes a nice little chocolate hockey player how can you you know beat that there's not many of them so <laughs> um, it's interesting to watch it definitely is but anyway if you're new to this channel welcome this channel is to help online entrepreneurs start build grow and sustain their business for the long haul so if that's something that you're interested in then make sure that you subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification so you'll be notified anytime I drop a new video which happens to be daily at this point so I'm shooting this video because I was reading a um, post or watching actually a YouTube post by a friend of mine who talked about that content was king. And if you want a seven figure business, that content is king. And that there are so many people out there who use content as their way of getting, drawing um, attention to their products. Uh, building authority uh, as well as you know getting people to know like and trust you and that is what this business is all about it's about building relationships and getting people to know like and trust you and I totally agree with everything that he said I um, follow Ben Settler his email marketing series which is awesome and he is a seven-figure earner and basically his emails draw me in because basically they tell a story of some point of some type something about positivity that he went through he might have had something negative happen to him but how he flipped it around to be positive and then towards the end he drops in some type of thing where you gotta buy <laughs> which is awesome to me and I really enjoy his emails and so it brought me back to a coach of mine who basically said that you sh your email should be a selling tool because you have bought people have bought into you if you're on YouTube at this point they have bought into you and they know they like and they trust you so all they don't even need any prompting to buy they can just sell to you I don't know if I like that method, however, and this is why. It's not, it's not congruent with the message that she had previously. It's not congruent to a lot of people's messages, honestly, and here is another reason why I find that interesting because she was giving that information to us through content <laughs> she was telling us through content not to use content in emails when content is everywhere in what she does and this is what I mean by content if you of course the normal ways of content is YouTube videos uh, blog posts and podcasts everybody knows that that's how you give out content but you also give out content through your email marketing you give out content every time that you send a Facebook post, anytime that you communicate to your ideal market, to your target market, you are giving out content, okay? Anytime that you allow them a little bit more into your world, a little bit more into the world of selling, helping them out, helping them see a problem, then you are giving them content, regardless if, if it's straight, getting to a point where you're trying to sell them on something. And I think the best forms of content eventually do lead you to a selling point. You are inviting a person to join you on your team, to join you to buy your product, to join you 
in your business venture on your biz op you know to like your page you're trying to build a business here all right and nobody's trying to do it for free so eventually you're gonna to have to sell your product you're gonna to have to sell yourself you're going to have to sell um, your business opportunity but you have to give people value in order for people to believe that you you know believe that in what you're selling why should they trust you there's a million people on YouTube all right millions of people on YouTube and there's a lot of people probably promoting your product so what is it that sets you apart from everyone else all right and it is your content it is your value and it is what you are saying that helps your target market and if your people thrive and strive and want to be down for you if you find a, a, a group of people who are willing to be about that cause then you have basically created your own fan base and created your own group of people that will pretty much buy whatever you have selling whatever you want to sell and it's because of the content and she the coach that said this she has built her email base has built her business has built her YouTube channel basically on the principles of the content that she's sharing so why would we do away with it why would we get rid of it it's a part of our everyday normal life in selling it's to, the point is to help people not to continue to sell things now yes target sends me something out every day okay and that's because I bought some school supplies from them earlier in the school year so every day they're sent, sending me something and it isn't something that is giving me major content but I'm not expecting them to give me major content because I go to them for a specific purpose which is just to buy but when you have so many other people that you can buy the same thing from like what you can with like Walmart and stuff like that I would rather go to Walmart because it's right up the street because it's more convenient for me than to go to Target it just so happened that Target had a better sale that day so I'm not loyal to any particular company but if a person who is giving me what I need in helping me solve my problems and helping me um, on my online journey and helping me see success if that person tells me that I need to buy something then you better best believe I will do that I will do that quicker than I would read a talk I don't even read my target emails <laughs> that's, that's just to be honest with you I don't read the emails from sales from companies major companies because all I know I know all they're trying to do is sell me something they're not going to give me anything of value so I don't feel that I need to read it and so if I look at it at that aspect content is king building authority is king building your brand is king making sure that you're putting out information that will help the people in your market and that is in every every way that you can deliver content whether you do it through YouTube blog posts whether you have a podcast whether you do it through social media whether you do it through email whether you're texting people however you are delivering content it is important it's not that not to be thrown away because eventually people are gonna think you don't really care about me all you want me to do is sell yes you're giving me great upfront information on YouTube but if all you're doing is constantly selling me something and not telling me a story giving me a, a, some type of hope giving me um, some type of positivity messages something that will help push me along and want to purchase what it is that you have provided for me then why do I need to buy from you I don't and I won't that's just how I think and I know that there are many other people out there who probably don't think that way and will figure that just because you know I like her YouTube videos or I like her blog posts 
or I liked her podcast, you know, she can send me straight to a sales letter and I'll buy. Some people think like that. And, you know, I, I take those people on my team too. But honestly, at the end of the day, to touch more people, more people lose that social touch. They lose that hands-on experience where people actually care about you. You know, we're living in a day and age where social media is the way to do things, but there is no personal touch. There's nobody out there who is, you know, trying to offer customer service genuinely. They're not trying to build relationships. They just want to, you know, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, and get a sale. And it's time to go back to a time where people actually care what it is that you think, what it is you have to say, what problems that you have, and actually try to solve them as opposed to just ramming more products down your throat. If that is your marketing style, hey, I'm sure it's probably working for you. You know, go ahead, go forth, go at it. But as for me and my business, I would rather build a relationship with people, help people, show people that they can do it, show them that this is not rocket science, that they can be successful online and help them make it, help them make that happen for them, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video today. I enjoyed making it. I've been, I'm sitting outside with my dog. I don't know if you can see him. Can you see him? Oh, there he is. Yeah. So I'm sitting outside with my dog and enjoying this beautiful weather, thinking about content <laughs> and wanting to offer good content to you guys. And I hope that I did that today. So if I did, make sure that you give me the thumbs up button and like and subscribe to my channel because I'm offering you daily videos that is gonna help to inspire you in your business. And that's what this is all about, building relationships and helping you on your online journey. And if you need help with that, make sure that you connect with me. If you have questions about that, make sure you connect with me. All of my contact information is down below in the description and I would love to help you out on your online journey. Second, if you want to know or need help with getting leads to your business and or you just want to know what it, I, what it is that I'm doing to make money online, that's the first link in the description box. Make sure you click it, check it out, join me on this venture and I will definitely help you in a relational way, <laughs> help you get together with you, take you by the hand and it help make you successful because that's what it's all about all right so until next time my friends make sure that you think big dream big take action so that you may own the life of your dreams bye now